everybody, this is Praxis, and I've just got a couple of hours on site today. Uh, River's getting together with some of his friends this afternoon. In fact, they're coming here. We're going to be going down to the stream. Uh, but I want to get some work in, and uh, what I'm working on are these little kicks for the backs of the steps. These little things your toes would hit as you go up the steps. And uh, you, know, you might think if you're going to approach this job, you just start from the bottom and go to the top. Uh, but I'm kind of jumping around. And the reason for that is, if you guys remember many months ago, when I was building the stringers, actually my dad did the building of the stringers for this, they're very, very precise. Uh, they have to be a very precise height. They can't be higher than a certain amount. In fact, we wanted to make the stairs that much taller. Each step would be that much taller. Um, two, um, one fiftieth of an inch uh, taller than they were, but that would be illegal. That would be considered dangerous by the state that we're in. So we had to make them all a little bit uh, smaller and had to add an entire extra step here at the bottom. I would have loved if they fit in a little bit more tightly, but you know, can't have steps that are that much taller. That'd be dangerous. Uh, so all of these steps, they're very precise in terms of the height because we had to meet certain legal requirements for it. That said, uh, lumber is different thicknesses. Um, you know, there's slight variations in in the cutting when you're doing things. Lumber bends as you're as you're working with it. So even though all these were mathematically worked out to be exactly the same uh, height, they're all slightly different. I mean, you know, we're talking about like a thirty second of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch, like that kind of thing actually probably beyond the, uh, the allowable limit. But, you know, it's just the reality when you're working with wood, it's an organic medium, and, you know, that's the way things work out. So as I've been putting these in, these are not all exactly the same size. Uh, what I did is I, I started with these a little bit wider. I've cut them on all the dimensions except for one, and you'll notice I've kind of tapered them. Uh, this is the front surface. They kind of taper this way, so when they're sliding in, they get there's a little bit of a give to it, and it'll tend to fill in the space a little nicer. Um, so what I started doing was the larger ones. I, I cut one of these to be a little bit wider, and I just went along and felt where it could fit in. And when I found a place where it could fit in, I would uh, stick it in there, nail it in, and then I'd go back and get another one, cut it to the same size. Came back in, check, 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 check. If I could find a place to fit it, i put it in. If not, if it was too big, I'd go out there to the table saw, set it down just a little bit, and then cut the next one a little bit smaller. Check, 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 find a place where it'll fit, and just, just keep doing that until there's no more that can fit in, uh, and I have to adjust the saw down just a little bit more. As you can see, I've just got two left at this point, and I'm going to check this one to see where this goes in. Uh, I'm going to check here. It's, uh, this one is too big to fit into that uh, step up there, but, but here, it works in there, and I'll just check the other side as well. Yeah, and it works on the other side as well. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to hammer it in here, and then what I'll do is I'll go outside and get ready the next one, set the, uh, the width of the table saw just down just a little bit, rip the next one down, see if it fits in there, and then I'm going to repeat the entire process for the upstairs stairs. That's it. Thanks for watching.